<laughs> um, we are here at Helen and Douglas House. Uh, this is Helen and Douglas FM. We're asking you to dig deep. The phone number you need to keep in mind over the next couple of days is 01865 796 777. And we'll tell you exactly why we're here. In fact, actually, we, we, I want to chat with Julie. Julie, good morning, Julie. Good morning. Good morning, Julie. You are the, the Douglas House manager here at Helen and Douglas House. That's right, yes. Now, for, we, we, we assume that people know everything about Helen and Douglas House. But, but tell us, there are two houses here, aren't there? Yes. We're in Helen House. And over the road is Douglas House. Tell us the difference between the two. Okay. Um, Helen House is for children, babies and children from birth up to 18. Mm-hmm. Uh, Douglas House is for 16-year-olds. Some of them come across at 16 um, and some at 18, up to the age of 35. Um, tell, tell, us, tell us why. I heard you off air a second ago. Tell us why. Mm. This is the best job you've ever had. That's what you just said. I've been a nurse for many years now, and um, coming to work at Douglas House completely changed my life. Uh, As a nurse, it's the very first time I've been able to work to the standard I always hoped I could achieve. Wow. Um, And every single day, um, me and my team can make a massive difference to parents at an appalling point in their life and to young people who will not reach middle age um our job is to make sure that they live right up to the wire that they have maximum fun and they get the maximum potential out of their lives and then towards the end of their life that we scoop them and their families up and love them and cherish them and help them through that absolutely appalling time supported by us and it it must be a job of extreme emotions or just I, I can't even imagine what it's like just on a daily basis when you come into the building uh, you will feel a sense of joy in the air and even on the saddest of days um, the atmosphere is upbeat they are young people <clears throat> they are hell-bent on having fun every single day of their lives and we are absolutely there with them to make sure they have that fun Yes, um, it's also very sad and we walk alongside our families and share the extreme joy and the extreme sadness and both those things are going on on the same day. The amazing thing about the care team in both houses is that they can find a piece of themselves for both of those things, what is appropriate for all the families in the house at any one time. You put it so well, and that's why we're asking you to dig deep. That's why we're here, because um, I imagine, I assume that, that a lot of people listening to that right now didn't know that. They, they, didn't, no. they didn't know exactly how you feel about your job and, and what goes on behind, behind these walls, these wonderful walls at Helen and Douglas House, and you can dig deep with us. 01865 796 777. Just a couple of weeks ago, I was, uh, I was in the bar at Douglas House, and when you say, I was, you were in the bar? You were in the bar? But, but there's a bar and there's a real reason why there's a bar and a very important reason because you just said it, they are, you know, these, are, these are young adults at Douglas House who, who, who want to go to the bar like, like young adults do. Mm. And because they have a, a terminal illness, or, it doesn't mean they can't go to the bar, so why not put a bar in? And that's what you've done. Absolutely. Often um, they will be too poorly to go out and socialise like we all like to do. So we try to bring the fun in. Um, and there is a, it is a proper bar. It looks really cool. There's plenty of space for wheelchairs. There's plenty of space for beds for people when they are very poorly. They still would like, quite like to go to the bar yeah. with their family around them, um, pets around them mm. sometimes, and their mates. Yep. Um, and they might chill out so there's a, there's a great big screen in there they can play games watch films sometimes there'll be um, a board game growing going on and often fantastic musical evenings where we're all whooping it up and having an amazing time and, and I, the very yeah, poorly patients yeah. will be there too mm. enjoying it as best they can what's going on behind that though is very skilled clinical care It's almost invisible, but we have a a team of specialist palliative care nurses and doctors, consultants in palliative care, and a very dedicated care team who are hugely skilled at working with young people. And that's why we're asking for help today, because that is very expensive to keep going. Well, I was just about to mention, £5 million a year it costs to to, to run Helen and Douglas House. And, And this is why, look around you this morning, let's hope you never need 
to come into Helen and Douglas House. Uh, but but it does happen, and, 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 and it, that's why we're here. The thing is, if you do need it, you need a place like this. I can totally see, and I think you summed up what you said, the pure joy. And that's, I think, when you look around this building that we're in today, we're in, uh, in Helen House, and we're in the midst of the playroom, and there's paintings on the wall, there's Mother's Day cards that have been made, uh, you know, there's uh, drawings that kids have done, there's mobiles that they've made. Uh, you want your child, your family member, to be able to have mm. that joy. 01865 796 777. Uh, you can also challenge me. Now, Julie, we're doing Challenge Trev. I know everything about 80s music. Well. But for every question I get wrong, I'm going to donate five pounds. Julie, have you got a question? Come on. About 80s music? Yes, come on. Put me on the spot. James Brown yes. had a number 39 hit. <laughs> Thanks. In February 1980, with which song? In February 1980, James Brown. Oh, yeah. uh, I mean, it, me. it was one of his big hits. Was it? Yeah, I can yeah. imagine it was at number 39 in the hit yeah. grade. Julie came up with this question all by herself. Yeah, thanks, Julie. She didn't read it <laughs> over your shoulder. Um, you know what? Uh, I don't know. Um, just get your phone it's, out your it's pocket. Not, it's Start not. Start uh, typing it now. No, I have no idea. What, what is it? What is it? Rap payback. Where is Moses? Man, it was on the tip. It was on the tip of my tongue. The, that's what it's all about. It's another five pounds in the pot for Helen and Douglas House. Come on, on, get the phone out. Helen and Douglas FM, and you can. I'm about to text it. What do I text? You will text the words "I will" to seven zero three hundred to donate five pounds. This will cost five pounds plus one standard rate message, and the charity will receive one hundred percent of your donation. Trevor, you can go to helenanddouglas.org.uk for details. Job done. Can okay. I make a suggestion that you just save yeah. that under favourites? <laughs> yeah, I think. I will. <laughs> I think my, my network provider will be calling me out and say, are you sure? Uh, I, I am sure because we're digging deep with Helen and Douglas on Helen and Douglas FM.